Hello friends, we are now at the start of the rail corridor. So we've been here before, this isn't our first time, and we're actually with the same crew. So we've got Sue, myself, and Chantal. Technically we're starting at the central rail corridor. So this is the Hillview MRT stop. We just had some quick lunch at the rail mall. Uh, if you're curious about the food there, we had the exact same thing we had last time. So check out the video. I'll leave the uh, link in the description box below. This is the start of a old school railway that basically leads us all the way back to downtown. I think from here, the total length is about 13 kilometers. It was raining like crazy this morning, but uh, it's pretty much dried out. And the good thing is most of the walkway is actually like pavement. So it's not like we're gonna have to go through like muddy, like dirt and stuff like that. So should be good. Today is Saturday, the 15th of May and the government as of yesterday just imposed essentially another lockdown. Uh, so timing couldn't have been any better, but uh, starting tomorrow, we will no longer be able to be in groups of more than two people. The next few vlogs that we'll have in the month of May going through to June will essentially be Chantal and myself. This also means that my birthday plans might have changed a little bit, but this will be the last time we do this for maybe, maybe a month. We'll see. We've got mosquito patches. We also have some roll-on. It's pretty much all grassy area, so we want to make sure that we protect ourselves from getting dengue. There's a little stream that normally just flows alongside the, the path and um, it's like a strong current going on. We've got a bunch of red dragonflies. There's some little baby minnows in there. It's, it's really cool. So we're actually walking along the highway, I think, but these, these stalks of what, whatever it is are so high up, it actually blocks out a lot of the sound and it makes you feel like you're really immersed into like a forest or something. You can tell by like the path and everything, even though it had rained like really bad this morning, um, up until the point we actually got here, the whole entire pathway so far has been pretty much dry. From what I've researched, I think if you go north of the central rail corridor though, it, it gets really grassy and muddy out there. So if it does rain and you wanna do like a little trek still, um, I would recommend doing the southern corridor. So it looks like there are some little outlets along the way which definitely are going to be muddy and mosquito-y so we're, we're going to stick to the, the path though. So it's pretty cool that they have like these um, rail tracks obviously the entire thing would be really difficult to like walk along or there's people biking on it as well so they've removed a bit of the tracks but it's cool to see like remnants of it here and there we are now underneath a highway it is pitch black this is probably where all the homeless people sat and like tried to bum rides on the train. I don't even know, how old is the train? Like when did it, was it like early 1900s or something? Mm, we don't know, we'll, we'll find out about that later. Chantal was just saying earlier that this is like a, um, one of those like school trips that you do and you like go out and learn about like butterflies and plants and stuff. You gotta respect the nature out here. It's just really cool to see all these beautiful plants and insects and everything. Now in the middle of some residential buildings to our right and 
landed homes on the left. This must be a really wealthy neighborhood. Okay. It's completely open. If it's sunny out, you're gonna get burnt. Make sure you wear some sunscreen and things like that. But today was a really good day because uh, we had a rain earlier and it's nice and breezy and cool now. I think I almost just got attacked by something. I was walking by a bush just now and there was like really loud rustling. Anyway, we just crossed, I think like our third bridge. This is probably the biggest major intersection bridge that we've come across at this point. Um, we'll have to track it later to see where exactly we are. But I think at this point we've probably done like at least a couple kilometers. So. It honestly really isn't that bad of a trek, um, especially because, like I said earlier, the, the roads are paved. It's a really nice walk. This is like our second time seeing construction along the, the corridor. But, I mean, that's just very typical here in Singapore. No matter where you are, you're probably going to find some sort of construction. We are now at Bukatima. This probably was like one of the original train stations or stops. We just left Bukatima station and there's these two lines along the pavement here. This is obviously very new pavement, but they kind of laid the original track or where it used to be. Oh, it actually looks like it just stops here though. So it looks like past Bukatima station, it's back into like a, a kind of rainforesty climate. We've got some massive trees now. So we're out of the residential area. We're back kind of in the wilderness and these trees are huge, although they're kind of naked. So not giving us much shade. Every time I see these really epic looking lily pads, which are humongous, that's kind of an indication that it's very moist in there. Uh, so I'm sure there's a ton of mosquitoes flying. So we're going to get the heck out of here. So it looks like we're at like this wide open dam kind of area and even the pour, like the dam itself is completely empty. I don't know if it's called a dam actually. Is it irrigation canal or this whole corridor looks really cool and open and I feel like they can do so much with this land. If you're the owner of this house and uh, you're watching this, uh, hello. We admire your homes here, but it must really suck with the construction happening right now. It's literally right, right next to the home and it is, it's loud. There's literally a light at the end of the tunnel. So we haven't come across any of those little stakes or crossroads signs that tell you like how far we are. It's been a while. We started up north, we passed Bukatima, we're passing uh, Clementi now. Honestly, I, I, I feel like we've done at least half, maybe, about half of it. And it, we're like, it's not bad at all. All right, we're taking a little detour here off the path, heading over to somewhere to just sit and chill for a little. Good to stay hydrated. Water's great and everything, but switch it up a little bit. We've been here before. This is called Star Vista. There's a huge shopping mall right over here. Uh, I think that would probably be the best place to go and we can just find somewhere to just sit and relax for a little bit. Uh, we went to Boost. It's like a pretty common franchise for smoothies and juices. We're gonna chill here for a little bit, drink this down and keep on going. We're back on the trail. Uh, just finished our drinks. It's gotten a little bit cooler or less sunny. Another hour and a half-ish, I think. We don't even know how many kilometers left. So we're right below the green line, I think, the MRT. It's really close to us. It's, it's kind of scary. I kind of wish there'd be one that comes over us right now, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, even. Wow. That's frightening. Giant lorry was right behind us and we heard some sort of like engine and yeah, this road's not big enough for a lorry. The whole pathway is really green. I think the other name for this place is the Green Corridor. Definitely makes sense. We've come across our biggest tunnel here. Hello! Woo! 
these guys are probably thinking I'm a really weird guy. We're now in Queenstown, like another neighborhood of Singapore. Uh, right in front of me right now is this really cool, I think it's a HDB, so public housing building called the Interlace. Uh, it reminds me of like stacked Jenga blocks, kind of. Really cool design. Um, I think the architect has done some other pretty popular or famous buildings either around here or internationally, but overview like shots of this thing looks really cool. I need size comparison, but can we look at how large these lily pad things are? Had a tiny little construction area to detour us. It was like, I don't know, 30 meters. Pretty small. Guys, there's a there's a bus station here. Do we do we bail or should we keep going? We're slowing down a little bit here. I mean it's just straight. There's literally nothing but just straight path. Singapore is always constructing another complex. I think we're near Tiong Baru now. You can feel like a little bit of a breeze. Uh, I think the water is not far from us. So we're, we're getting close to like harbor front area. I don't know, I see some green cranes that usually are along the water that take things off those cargo or container ships. I think we've got maybe another 15 minute walk left to the Tanjong railway station, which completes the official walk of the, what is it called? The corridor, oh my God. Rail corridor. My brain is fried. Of the rail cor corridor. Yeah. It's like the zero kilometer stop and then from there it goes all the way back to where we were, which was the 13 km. If you're adventurous, you can keep going further. It's like another 11 kilometers. It's a long trip. Not a lot to see, but at least you're getting your exercise in. <laughs> we just hit a dead end over here, I think. There's a detour, but there's a really cool, like, abandoned, I don't know, old railway station or check-in thing. Here we are at Kampong Baru. So this is the detour area. Again, another bailing point for us, but you can see the skyscrapers in the distance. We're back at Tanjong Pagar. So that means the railway station should literally just be like somewhere right over here. It's the first time we're doing stairs. It's been a while since we've had stairs. Okay, we've landed in a Peranakan village now. We still need to actually find the railway station though. We are officially here took a really weird detour. There were no signs that actually told us where we have to go back. Um, but as you can see on my right hand side, this is the old Tanjong railway station. Pretty sure this thing is haunted. It looks super abandoned and I would absolutely come here at like night and do some sort of ghost tour. Okay, ladies, we did it. How are you feeling? Tired. 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 Legs are dead. I feel good. I'm, I'm down to like keep going, which we're still going a little bit further because this is the old Tanjong Railway Station. I think we're meeting a couple peeps at the now Tanjong Pagar MRT stop to grab some dinner around that area. We're back in the heart of uh, Tanjong Pagar. I'd say this is one of the more iconic structures, this giant red building called the Oasia Hotel. I love this building because it just has so much greenery on it. We're basically in between where all the buildings here in Tanjong Pagar connect to the MRT station, like underground. It's like tunnels that connect all these buildings together. This is where I work. This is where Chantal works. Um, but I won't be coming into the office for some time now that we're locking down again. We're, we're back in familiar territories, so good to be home. <laughs> There's Bev right there. Look at her, chilling. 
We landed on Muchachos, which is a Mexican restaurant. I got some carne asada and pollo asado. And then we also got a Mexican salad, Mexican Coke, and a slushy margarita thing. Hung out for the last time with a few of our friends, enjoying this sort of like last time out before things um, change. All right, well, thanks for joining. Have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!